What in the world happened in the ring across the street on Saturday night? Anthony Joshua knocked out, or they stopped the fight, actually, in the seventh round. Andy Ruiz Jr. is in worse <laughs> shape than me. Yeah, but he's shape. got really... He's got fast hands and heavy come hands. Come on, come on. Man. Shape. We need to define shape. I mean, come on. Look at Billy how did this happen, John? Inside. You're our resident boxing expert here. Yeah, yeah but he's not. He's like, all, like, like I keep saying, he's like an offensive lineman. He looks you know? great. He's in great shape. <laughs> Don't worry about how he looks. He's in, he's in phenomenal shape. Guess who was breathing heavy that whole fight? Yep. Anthony Joshua. Guess who's breathing through their nose that whole fight? Ruiz. He's in great shape. That's what boxers do. You breathe through your nose. Bouncing and like you calm. How's he he's tired? in great he's not shape. Tired at all? Well, he's in phenomenal shape. Was Joshua? Overconfident. I think he's overconfident. I don't think he trained properly. Obviously, he didn't train the way he trained like when he uh, fought Klitschko. I mean, he was able to get up off the canvas against Klitschko and turn around and knock Klitschko out. But, you know, I don't know if he trained hard enough or his first foray into the American soil got the, mo uh, got the best of him. But, you know, he's going back to England to really th rethink everything, and I'm sure they're going to have a rematch in, like, November or Oct October or sometime like that. In the ring after the fight, the – congratulatory speech that Anthony Joshua yeah, was gave. I was like, lovely. what is happening? He was so incredibly we, we complimentary. Mike nice. Tyson and Lennox like, Lewis. <laughs> he's an Englishman, man. Is that what it is? is it, that's how you lose because you're from English? I was like, dude, get out the ring. You just got embarrassed. He's a rakish Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? Once again, the Gardens boxing legend continues. When Absolutely. You think about it, the, the things that happen in that ring, in that building, you never know. There's been upsets like crazy over the years, amazing fights over the years, and that's another one. I mean, think about the history of that as far as Ruiz and his background and what it means to him personally. The fact that he got the opportunity as the second choice in that fight as well. There's so much to that story that we're, we're focused so much on Anthony Joshua, of course. But the more I like dive into Ruiz and his background, and I mean, you know, right we, we all, you know, we can have fun, and I'm sure he's had fun with it too, is, is the body shape and everything else. But, you know, if we can make that become like that's the beautiful thing now, but I he, think we'd all. <laughs> really, all Alan? That. Let, let that be. Pump your let, let that become. <laughs> but, wait, wait a minute. What a real man looks like. Okay, okay. Then. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. But still, but still, though, everything else about it, though, like prepared for, for the fight, you know, the fact that what he, what he was able to do, what he was able to withstand. And what he took out of Anthony Joshua is something to me that was as stunning as the, the finish. Now, Ruiz, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, he's been fighting longer, correct? So do you think a lot of that had to do with just his instinct? That is, he has that's a better why amateur able, pedigree. He was an Absolutely. amateur. I mean, he fought so many amateur fights. So it's like almost, I, I looked at it like it was like his instinct just kicked in, even though specimen-wise, it's Anthony Joshua. <laughs> he looks like, like a Greek specimen. god. You're, but you know what I'm saying? Julian, you're right. Because as soon as Anthony Joshua got right, you're taught in boxing to get tight you and know, try to come protect over here yourself. And show me Demonstration over there. time. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just don't, don't do it for real over yeah, here. We right. got to put okay. about 40 pounds on Bill, no, though, to make it work. Come on over here. All right. This is actually How'd be this perfect. happen? So, all right, you're Ruiz. <laughs> now, you're the champion. You're going to knock me out. All right, good. I like that. Let's go, Bill. Okay. Now, Something that people didn't pay attention to in, in round two, Joshua's corner told him something. He said, only throw jabs and straights, meaning don't come in hook. So if I throw jabs and straights, I keep you at the end of my jab. I keep you at, okay. at this distance. So okay. only I can hit you. Okay. You can't hit me. All right. He got some fool's goal. He hit, he hit Ruiz with a left hook and dropped him. Okay. Now he starts throwing hooks. So now, he went away from the jabs is what you He went saying. away from the okay. jab because he, got, cause he dropped mental, him with a hook. Right? Okay. So now he came in with the hook. Now I'm in the range where See, Ruiz can count him. Right? <laughs> if you come in like that, I'm, like, I, I'm, ready. I'm ready. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. <laughs> Bill's but so excited. Ru Ruiz can counter right. when you get to this right. range, which is called the mid-range or close range right. distance. So now as you miss, he, ca he ma makes a miss, and he was countering him, boom, body, yeah, boom, right. head. Yeah, so yeah. the problem was Joshua went away from the jab. All you got to do is go right here. It's a boring, like, Emmanuel Stewart, the great, late, great Emmanuel Stewart taught Lennox Lewis and Klitschko, both who are the longest reigning champions in the last 30 years, just stay behind your jab. The whole fight is boring. That's why we all, like, Klitschko's boring, Lennox Lewis is boring, but they know how to win. They just stay behind the jab, stay behind the jab, and then he dropped the straight on you every so often. Right. So he went away from a strategy. I don't know why. why. He went back really, to his instincts. Really good point. Right? So really is, this, good point is this a big, is there like a, a statement being made on boxing in this? In that this guy was supposed to be this, that, and the other, and then here comes the lesser known guy? Because well, we, I, I, we, we even when he came to he the set, you the already set. were previewing his fight potentially yeah. with Wilder. Yeah. Right. Now, right. now, does anyone remember what I said about 
Wilder, Joshua. Does anyone yeah, remember? Speaking of Wilder, before we get to that, here's what Wilder said after oh. the fight. Now, if Joshua wanted to fight Wilder, right? Here's what Wilder tweeted out. The worst thing you can do in life is quit. That's the question I was going to ask. Is, is when you talked about what does this mean for boxing, there were a lot of people that gave this a bit of a side eye. Like, he just quit? Like, what? For, for Again, you get deep into boxing, you understand it. But for the rest of us who watch it as a sport, spectator sport, where we don't know all the, all the science of it, the sweet science, is we saw somebody stand in the corner, Look at, the, look at the official, look at the ref, and look like somebody that had no interest in continuing. That's what it looked it was, like. It was like he was saying, yes. Yep. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> right. Do, you, do you remember Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua did say he would have liked to have fought Wilder earlier because because these fights, anything can happen, right? Yeah, you hear a lot had, of fighters say that. And, and it would have been bad playing. if this yeah, happened yeah, to Ruiz. Because if that was Wilder, there might have been, I mean. It would have been. And, maybe he would have been more But I always said that Wilder him. was going to win the fight because he's he just – he doesn't care. He comes in with, with like so much aggression right from the start. He he throws bad intention punches right from the first round. And Joshua came out like pity pat, range finding jabs. You don't need that against Ruiz. Come out and just start jabbing him in the face early. But to Monica's question, in in a sense, is this good for boxing? That's my question. Is it good, or did we want to see the Joshua Wilder fight? Well, like, that fight's going to happen still, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I, I think it's good for box because Ruiz, the underdog, was able to come in and win. I mean, okay. people are My favorite thing was his tweet. He, he retweeted one of his partners, and he was like, yeah, bro, we're going to get this W and then go get some cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let them eat cake. Yeah, he's in uh, shape. Uh, like, uh, go get some cake. cake. And yeah. he had a Snickers before the fight. Yeah, Come on. That's his thing. Come on. <laughs> he gave him that sugar high. Can we make this a thing? <laughs> Whatever works. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.